Hello mga kasolar, and again it's Solar Fenoy in Poland. For today, pag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa isang 400 watt solar panel naman. Hmm. So if you're planning to set up a 400 watt solar panel with 4x100 watt solar panel connected in parallel using a PWM controller, ay ito dapat ang malaman mo kung ano ang kaya nito. Okay? So assuming mga lods, yung design natin is 4x100 watt solar panel with 10 amperes na dalawang PWM controller and a 100 ampere hour battery. For me mga lods, okay na yung 100 ampere hour na battery with the the inverter of 1000 watts. So, here we go mga lods. Puntahan na natin kung ano ba talagang mga lods ang kaya nito. So, again, here is this system. no System solar generator. So, before we continue, connect muna natin yung ating wirings. So, let's find all the positive terminals and let's all connect all the positive. So, ito yung mga positive terminal natin mga lods. No? So, ganitong design yung pinili ko because I don't trust sa mga higher uh, amperage ng mga PWM. No? So, I prefer to choose 10 amperes only because enough na siya sa 200 watt solar panel. So, kaya ginawa kong dalawa mga lods because, uh, because that is 200 watts and our controller dito is 10 amperes lang. Huh? So, dalawang controller. So, that is equivalent to 20 amperes. Okay? So, let's all connect the positive terminal and the negative. So, ito na yung ating setup mga lods. Napaka-simple lang, no? Simple. Simple wiring connection. And to the battery is positive to positive. Negative to negative. So, pasensyahin na yung drawing ko mga lods. Because this is only just an electrician. So, ganyan. Ganyan. All the negative, the negative. Okay. So, ito yung aking 100 watts. Solar panel, 100 watts. 100 watts. So, apat na 100 watts. And then, itong controller ko is only 10 ampere. Kaya, dinalawa ko yung controller because 10 ampere lang yan. If 20 ampere, mga lods, pwedeng isang controller lang. So, itap mo lahat ng solar panels mo dyan. But sa design ko, gusto ko dalawa. Eh, para, I believe na mas okay yung dalawa kaysa isa, no? Para, pag may problema, okay pa rin yung isang system, oh. So, that is my 100 EH battery. So, ito nang ang overall setup ko, mga lods, no? So, we go to the computations. So, that is a 4x100 watt solar panel. So, again, mga lods, uh, in rule of the thumb, as I measured ang ang ating 100 watt solar panel ay kayo mag-generate ay 244 watt hour daily power generation. Let's multiply it by 4. That is 976 watt hour. So, that is a little bit uh, maliit siya ng konti compared sa mga MPPT. So, ito na ang ating 978 watt hour. 976 watt hour. So, we need to Multiply and divide sa ating mga loads, no? So, assuming meron kang 65 watts na electric fan. Running at only around 7 hours a day. 7 hours lang a load sa. Because pag lumampas ka dyan, eh, uubusin nyo yung battery mo. So, considering matutulog ka 6, uh, kasi malamig na sa gabi, no? 12 midnight, pinapatay mo na yung electric fan. So, 7 hours lang. So, 6 by 65 times 7 is 455. So, just subtract mga loads from 976. So, that is 521 watt hour. So, ating 521 watt hour na natitira, ano pa ang gagamitan natin? Okay? So, assuming meron tayong 10 5 watts na ilaw. 10 mga loads. So, from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. mo lang siyang pinapailaw. So, that is 10 times 5 times 5 is 250 watt hour. 5 hours ka lang ha? 5 hours lang. 
So, 521 minus 250 is 271 watt hour. So, ito na lang natitira sa ating daily power generation. So, limang cellphone. Kasi tag-iisa kayo ng cellphone. Isang charge kada ano, araw. So, this 5 times 24 is 120. So, 271 minus 120 ay meron na lang tayong 15 watt hour. 15 watt hours na lang mga Lord. Uh, 151 pala. So, ano pa ang gagamitan natin dito, mga ka-solar? So, isang Wi-Fi kasi kailangan ng Wi-Fi. So, for 24 hours, yung isang Wi-Fi mo na 5 watts ay nagko-consume ng 120 watt hour yan, mga lords. So, that is all our computations, no? So, overall, mga lords, meron tayong... Uh, yung load natin is 65 watts na electric fan, 10 watts na ilaw, at limang cellphone, at isang wifi. No, ang ating mga loads ay nakilha na natin kung ano ba ang kaya nun. 400 watt solar panel natin. So basically doon ako nagbapasit talaga sa ating charging power. No? Charging power. So clearly, pwede lang siyang... Uh, if you are running a 65 watts electric fan considering 7 hours hmm? and the 10 5 watts the 105 watts na ilaw at 5 hours okay and limang cellphone huh? and isang wifi 24 hours so kuno na mga lords no dapat sana nating tandaan na wag na wag mong hayaang mas malaki yung konsumo mo daily kaysa na pa na generate na power mo for an off grid solar system so yun yung bantayan mo mga lords bantayan mo yung araw bantayan mo yung load mo bantayan mo yung battery mo if low bat na and bantayan mo kung full charge na siya kung full charge na sa magdamag no sa in the morning ni so pwede ka nang mag magwala sa load mo Okay? So, yun ang ating video na to. And see you again in the next video, mga lords. And it's Solar Pinoy Info. See you, see you again.